We the brown boys. The brown boys. The brown boys. We the brown boys. The brown boys. We the brown boys. In Illinois, allegedly, I think I snapped. She's supposed to be connected to the Obamas, I think. But somebody sent me a post to where they're saying, and I'm saying this is alleged, that the migrants, the illegals, are allowed to carry guns now. They're going to make this happen to where illegals can carry guns. Because allegedly, they don't like the way the police, the police is treating the illegals. You don't say. Now, we done had riots all about what the police has been doing to black folk. And not one time has it ever been suggested that black folks need to bear arms to protect themselves against the police. Never one time that was suggested. So I'm going to say this story is cap. I'm going to pray this story is cap. I don't even want to see what it would look like for migrants, for illegals to start shooting at cops in the middle of the street. And not only the cops, I think my thing is they're going to say if this is true, they're going to say it's for cops when it's really for your black. You know what? I need to go over there and see my boy in there. I need to get me some more food, dog. I'm hungry, Jack. I am so hungry. God, and the police is everywhere. How is there so many shootings down here with the police everywhere like this? And how do they get away with it with all this traffic? What time are you niggas shooting it? Early in the morning? Oh, I got to make this like, uh-uh. No, no, no. I ran this one. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, I got this one. I got this one. Give me a ticket or whatever. But I got this one. Kwame is awful here in New York. This is what you voted for. And people won't be honest. Uh, black women took credit for this, which I don't think they should be bragging about this. We got this voted in. But the people in the cities that voted for these sanctuary cities, I hate to say it, it's your fault. There's no other way to slice it or dice it. You voted for this. You voted for other people to come and share some of your resources which it never made sense to me. If we already got only a half a loaf of bread to eat, why would I invite more friends over to eat some more of this half a loaf of bread? It really don't make much sense. Hey dog, it's just me and my, all I got was a loaf of bread and some peanut butter. I might call one friend, hey, I got enough for you to get a sandwich. Yeah, I got enough, it's a half a loaf. You might can get one and a half sandwiches out of that. Cause I'm greedy, maybe two. But other than that, don't call that dang on Billy Ray over here now. That nigga ain't getting none of this sandwich. No. Man, we should share with everybody. Just don't call them and we ain't got to share. You can't come get none of this half a loaf. It don't make sense. I'm going to run out of bread a lot faster that way. And now that we all done ran out of bread, New York, Chicago, they running out of bread. So now they calling everybody that knew that you were going to run out of bread. It don't make sense. Start thinking about what you voting for. Stop listening to all this stuff that people are saying that's not going to be affected by what you're voting for. These liberal white people, they're not going to be affected by nothing they vote for. They don't give a damn. They behind gates. They chilling. But that would be a shame if they told illegals that they can have guns. And that they can now start shooting at people. That would be a shame. That would be a travesty of justice. So what What about, I think it's a bigger picture than, than this. Because what's going to happen now when the migrants get the guns and don't use them for protection, they use it to rob people. They use it to assault people. 
they use it to shoot up the black folks that, that might be upset that they're in the neighborhood. So it's time for hunger game time. Now, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm not saying that that's what's going to happen, but I think that's what's going to happen. They see that black folks are tired of it. They're getting angry. So they done found somebody to come in <laughs> to deal with you Negro. They can't deal with you. They got they got the migrants that deal with you. And boy, they done seen violence like you ain't never seen before, Jack. Yeah, buddy. Can you imagine the war between the illegals and the blacks? What it's gonna be like? If it happens, it's gonna be bloody. It's gonna be people that's trying, to, two underclass people fighting for something. That's a combustible situation. While white folks sit back and laugh. Not all, not all, but some. Already happening there? That's a shame. 